I want to bring in Congressman Charles Rangel. Congressman, always good to have you on the program. Good morning. Good to be back. Good morning. You're a proponent of uh, many of these new laws. What happened to people in your corner? I mean, things seem so promising after Newtown. And now uh, the Senate Democrats, Harry Reid, said, look, it's just a pragmatic decision. Can barely get 40 b votes for an assault weapons ban, let alone 60. What happened? I'm ashamed to admit it, but it's politics and it's money. Uh, the National Rifle Association uh, has taken this position. There's no reason, there's no foundation, there's no hunter that needs automatic military weapons to enjoy the culture of, of going hunting. Uh, but, you know, it's really basically the absence of the voices of good people. I cannot believe that politicians are afraid of the NRA. If they thought for one minute that the churches and the synagogue and the priests and the ministers were saying, hey, do the right thing and we have your back. We're talking about millions of kids dying, being shot down by assault weapons. We're talking about handguns where it's easier in the inner cities to get these guns than to get computers. This is not just a, a political issue, it's a moral issue. And so when we condemn the NRA, we should not ignore the fact that a lot of people that have taken moral positions have been silent on this big one. 